Hey legends, so welcome back to the Budget Build VS race car. So first of all, let's go and have a look at the wheels that we brought for this thing. Because these wheels here, they're just not going to work for track racing on cheese cutters like that. So let's go and check out what we brought. So what we brought is a set of 17 by 8 VY SS wheels to go on the VS Budget race car. And they've come with not too bad a tread. The rears are not bad, but the two front ones, they are skanky. Like, they are absolutely no good. So we'll have to look into replacing these. So we might just replace, I don't know, two, or whether we just do the four so we have a complete one brand on these tyres. And I also got a set of plates made for when we're circuit racing. Who wants to see what we've named the car? Let's check them out. That's right party time because this car is going to be an absolute party when it's done i had these plates made a little while ago for another car but i think they'll be more fit into this car because as they say there ain't no party like a 3.8 baby and we finally had some parts turn up so let's check out what parts we've got for this thing so we've got a brand new fuel pump here from the boys at tough car parts anyone that needs a replacement fuel pump the part number is af491021 so that's the fuel pump and our new rocker covers to fix that skanky leak that it's got on that rocker cover. And we also brought a premium, yes, premium, brand new starter motor for it as well. When we can get it out of there, got a brand new starter motor for it for the simple fact is that because this has been sitting around for like 12 years every now and again, the starter motor decides to play up so we've got a brand new starter motor ready to go in and also now we are rocking the blue drifting momo italy steering wheel in which we did have to end up buying a bosch kit so we had to take that out of the five grand budget but the steering wheel we didn't because i already had it from another project and for people who would watch the last video i said this thing has a miss up around the four thousand mark under load but when it's in neutral, it revs in that perfectly fine. So I do have a couple other parts here, which I didn't have to go and buy out of the budget because I already had these here left over from project. So we've got a brand new fuel filter to go on it. And we've got a brand new set of Bosch Platinum Plus plugs to go in it. Now, like I said, didn't have to pay for these. It's always good to save money when you've got parts left over from other projects to put them in the new ones. So, And we also brought something else as well, which I will show you. Before I show you what I brought, I did also find something else that could be causing this miss in the car. Come and check this out. Now, you may have heard me mention in the last video about plugs and leads and coils. Now, I'm sure anyone that's in Australia watching this knows that a V6 coil pack shouldn't do this. Look at that, rocking backwards and forwards. So that is loose, but I also did find that this coil is looking real skanky, like it is looking dang, that's horrible. And underneath here, underneath this one, we've got a little bit of rust in there. I don't know if you will see it. And you can see there's a little bit of rust on the terminal there as well. So to fix that problem, we have three brand new coils here ready to go on, and we're gonna chuck these on first to see if this fixes the miss in it. And it seems to be always the way. When you're looking for that one tool, you spend 20 minutes looking for it. Like, you got all these tools, but you spend 20 minutes trying to find this one tool to do this one job. So, found the tool, let's get into it. So they are fairly simple to undo. You just got two screws, one there, and you got one there. I won't film the whole thing, because I'm sure everyone's replaced these before. And you just pop off your two leads, to replace one coil at a time so and just when removing them it does pay to just slide them sort of straight up because they've got these couple of prongs that they've got to slide on that they just slide into there so it just pays to slide them up nice and gently and don't wiggle them and because you don't want to break those little connectors or anything so and just like that slide the new one on and then just tighten your bolts back up i just do these up to start with just finger tight and then go over the other side and nip them down as I go because I don't want it to go on on any single angle so just nip it down nice and steady and it's just a matter popping your plug leads 
back on. Always make sure as you remember where they've got to go. And bang, that's one done. So I'll get the other two done now. And just like that, three new coils. And look at this, all nice and tight. So no more rocking around. Like it's gone 10 rounds with Rocky Balboa. And I do have new leads to come because these ones are a bit air gone, but they haven't turned up in time. So moment of truth, let's hope she starts up right now. Fuel pump was on, let's see if she fires. Fingers crossed, guys. And just like that, the starter mode decides it doesn't want to play the game. Bugger. Let's try that again, shall we? Take two, see if she'll go. Nope. Nope. Nope, I think my battery is dead. Bloody cars, it's not one thing, it's a bloody another. Grrr. All right, time for a jump start. Time to bring out the one car that I know will go first time every time. So here we are in a car that I absolutely love, me Triton. So let's get this one fired up. She'll start first kick and we'll jump start that bloody Commodore. Nah, couldn't get the Triton close enough, so we'll use the missus's car. All right, jumper leads are hooked up. Let's try this again for a third time. Woohoo, she's away, finally. So she's fired up, she's running. Sounds pretty good on idle. Give her a few minutes to warm up and then take her for running. See if she cuts out and carries on and we'll find out if those four packs have done the job. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, drop me a comment what you think, because like I said, we're gonna throw five grand at this thing, see how far we can take it for circuit racing. And then later on, after we put five grand into the car in upgrades, we are gonna put some more money into it and strap a turbo to this thing. And we have success. The miss is now fixed, so it was the coils, but all the new parts that I've got, the fuel pump, the new plugs, new fuel filter, all that sort of stuff, I'll still put in the car. So I get the boring stuff out of the way and we can get into the cool stuff like exhaust, extractors, doing diff gears, doing a mini spool, upgrading the brakes, all that cool stuff, getting a tune put in this thing because the guy that's tuning it, he's got a 904 horsepower. One of these, his car runs eight seconds in a VC Commodore, so you guys will see that on the channel. So until next time, guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next one when we get up to some really cool mods. So until next time, guys, remember, five grand, and then we're going to go strap a turbo on it. See you next time. Bye.